they wanted that song to uh, sing. So if everybody bow our head as we uh, open the service, precious Father, we ask you to help the, all the family, Lord Jay and all the grandchildren, all the sisters, and all the ones that's here. Lord, as we come to pay our respects to Brother Donnie, Lord, we know, Lord, that comfort their hearts and help them with their loss of their sorrow in their heart. We know, God, we ask you to bless the singers and bless everyone that takes part in this service. But most of all, God, we ask you, Lord, let your spirit come by and help the family. For, Lord, we can't do it in ourselves, but we'll believe it and ask you in the name of Jesus. Amen. This time, Sister Gail's going to sing.
to the late Ralph and Dora McComb Dern on November the 27th, 1948 in Berea, Kentucky. On January the 2nd, 2021, at the age of 72, Donnie was granted his wings. Donnie retired from high school following retirement. He spent his days working on his farm and with his family. Donnie was of the holiness faith and a member of Cartersville Holiness Church. Other than his parents, he was preceded in death by his wife, Linda Roberts Durham, a son, Ralph D. Durham, Jr., and a brother, Johnny Durham. Donnie is survived by his children, Renee Gadd, Michael W. Durham, and Jason M. Durham, all of Berea, Kentucky, two sisters, Rose Hayden of Waco, Kentucky, and Bonnie Herbert Johnson of Berea, Kentucky, three sisters-in-law, Dolores Dennis Chadwell, Kathy William Smith, and Lola Roberts, all of Berea, Kentucky. Ten grandchildren, Kenny, Samantha, Gad, Nick Gad, Nicole Gad, Courtney, Patrick, Damrell, Tyler Sparks, Jacob Sparks, Kayla Cope, Dustin Sparks, Jay Dern, Aretha Dern, five great-grandchildren, Logan, Sailor, Peyton Richmond, Kenton Damrell, Ezekiel Gad, and Silas Damrell, along with a host of nieces and nephews, also survived. We'll be reading in Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes, third chapter, first verse. <clears throat> to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time of mourn, and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones together, a time of embrace, a time of refrain from embracing, a time to get, a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to cast away, a time to rend, a time to sow, a time to keep silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. I thought death is never an easy task or to look forward to we got the loved ones you know that's left behind that uh, something you'll never forget but, uh, I've lost my loved ones for many years but still yet sometimes it comes back in memory as, as of yesterday yeah. I was fortunate enough and blessed enough to know Linda for many years and her sisters and Silly Roberts and mm -hmm. on down the line and and Donnie got acquainted with him. I seen him at Cartersville a lot. Seemed like we I guess I don't know where he because I drive forward and he did too. We struck up a good conversation a lot of times about that. <coughs> and but uh, I, he was so I thought he was very faithful, Bruce. And yeah. I, what, what times I came seemed like most of the time he was sitting there. And I thank God that uh, you know he made his choice uh, a few years ago to come to the house of God, and that 
and uh, that little young man that he come with him all the time. I thought, uh, you know, I feel like he was he was bringing that boy up in a way that the Bible talked about that he should go. Yes, I believe that. And there's probably nobody knows what that young man is feeling in his heart. I can relate back to my days of my pal Paul. He's been gone many years. Them big dover halls and arm wasn't big as a uh, wasper spoke, so to speak. Man, he was tough. Most days when I left him, he had that little black change purse. He'd find time usually to get down inside of it. He back in the hay be cured. Bruce, if you got a quarter, that meant a whole lot. You can do a lot of things. You don't do much of that anymore. But those good memories. A thought like this, if we could take for a thought, if we could live like yesterday was our last day, how much better off we'd be. <clears throat> how much better off would I be if I thought yesterday was going to be my last day? I'd say when I got to, to today, it probably be, mean a whole lot more to me. Yeah. But uh, he will be missed, Bruce. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. When, the day, when you go to that church and uh, he, was, he sat back just enough, he was about one of the first few that I would pass and seemed like we... Uh, until we really got in church, I never did know him that well, really, but it seemed like we just, like I said, we struck up about every time I, he'd have something to say to me or I'd have something to say to him. And if, if he was then sitting in the truck in the parking lot and I backed in, he was always ready to speak and everything. But, yeah. um, I feel like he started the right direction. And uh, you'd probably say, well, why did he have to leave us? Well, there's a time to die. Time to heal, time to live, and this and that. It's all going to come to each and every one of us. But uh, it was a shock to me when Lola called me. I couldn't for a second there. I thought, well, who are, who, Lola, who are you talking about? I think she thought I would, had flipped out. And it was a shock to me, Bruce, that he had passed away. I, I didn't even realize he had. But anyway, I feel like that he uh, made the right choice. And he's calling election children. Life is full of choices. You can choose to leave here today and go on and do whatever you want to do. But there's going to come a time, a day, and an hour Amen. that you and I both have wished we'd have done more for God. Yes, Death, something's going to happen from the first, first breath you ever took it. When you was a baby, actually death is pronounced upon you. Once the board in, wants to point at a man to die and then the judgment. All the things going to count for us is what we do for God. Nothing's going to work for us. And I'm not going to tell you to pray and seek God and everything's going to be just right. I ain't going to tell you that. I'll tell you this much. You'll have somebody that you can go to at the midnight hour. Are you his daughter? I believe you are, aren't you? And Linda, your mom. Yeah, I, she went to church for many years. You probably went with her back years ago, yeah. didn't you? I do remember you something. I remember that young man that come here. Is there another child? Is he yeah. here? Uh, my Logan, my grandson, he went to church with him a few times. Yeah, but did he have two sons? Uh, yeah, two sons, but I don't remember. I've seen the one boy. I, I remember him. Anyway. Did he? Come in? Did he? My mom and dad's been gone a long time. And now y'all's mom and dad's gone. Grandpa, brothers, sisters, just family missing. But I feel like I lost something too, Bruce. Yeah. I lost a good, good brother. Yeah, we did. But you know what? There's going to be a great gathering day. Yes. Lord, we can all gather together. Hallelujah. There will not be no more dying. There won't be no more crying. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat>
think they got a couple more songs. Is Patsy <coughs> Carrie, whoever wants to sing first. There's a day just how in front of us I know will surely come when that eastern sky splits open wide revealing God's dear Son. And I know from here to heaven it's but a twinkling of an eye and in the midst of all the glory will hear the sweetest cry. Welcome home, I knew you'd come. Welcome home, you're here for good. Look around, was it worth the wait? Welcome home, step through the gates. I believe at least for me, I'll see my mom and dad, my brothers and my sisters, and everywhere we look, our friends and the greetings will be precious from all those we love so dear but a mortal man has never seen or hear of what we'll hear welcome home i knew you'd come welcome home you're here for Good. Just look around. Was it worth the wait? Welcome home. Step through the gate. There's a day just now in front of us. I know will surely come when the eastern sky splits open wide. Revealing God's dear Son. And I know from here to heaven is but a twinkling of an eye. In the midst of all, the glory will hear the sweetest cry. Yes, welcome home. I knew you'd come. Welcome home. You're here for good. Just look around. Was it worth the wait? Welcome home. Step through the gate. When I close my eyes in death, oh, for my hands upon my chest, oh, sing for me a pretty song. Oh, while I take my journey home, I'm not afraid. To be this world goodbye. I'm not afraid to close my eyes and die. Oh, for this country I have prayed. Oh, yes, Lord, I'm not afraid. Now, when I 
I count it an honor to say something uh, for Brother Donnie. Uh, Brother Donnie preached his own funeral. Today I'm just going to rehearse some words that what I know about Donnie, but then I want to preach to you all. Death <coughs> is Hebrews 9.27 says it's pointed on the man to die and after this the judgment. I thought Brother Donnie and Jay, they was kind of faithful to Cartersville. I was glad to be their pastor. And thing about Donnie, the last time that he was able to come to Cartersville, I, I won't leave this in your mind. When we'd have a prayer line, anything, he'd come up there and pray. And he'd always give him prayer for his boys and his family, his children. And uh, he'd get up there and get to praying with us. And the Lord would get to blessing him. And he'd have that heavenly language speaking. And I love Donnie. Cartersville's going to miss Donnie. We're going to miss him. As a pastor, I'm going to miss him. But I'd like to see, you know, the best thing that can come out of this uh, visitation, the funeral of Dad thing. I thought about, about 43 years ago, I was lost and undone without God. Amen. And my daddy died. And the only thing that could really help me, I started praying and God come into my life. He changed my life. I'm telling you, I know what grief is when you lose mom and dad, but Jesus is right there to comfort you. Used to, you could go to mom and dad and they'd help you and bail you out of things, but I'm telling you, a friend is called Jesus. He's there when mom and dad ain't there. He'll bring them memories and he'll help you and guide you. But the Lord will help me preach just for a little while. I want to preach on appointed time to die. Amen. Donnie, that day, I did not know that that would be our last time that I would speak to him. I didn't know that was going to be his last time. But the last picture that I've seen of Donnie, he left a great picture. I've seen the Lord of blessing him. His hands raised up and him speaking in tongues. I'm telling you, he had a good, amen, report when he left here. How many knows that's what I want to leave? A good report. Don't you? I believe he's want, he would want me to say today, if I could say anything, amen, to tell the children to pray. Pray, because death's coming. Pray. Amen. Mama's going on. And Daddy's going on. And be ready to meet them. The family circle may get broken in here, but how many believes, amen, the fourth chapter of Thessalonians said, the dead in Christ is going to rise. Can I tell you, the grave is not the end. It's the beginning of where we're going to spend eternity. And I believe mom and dad, Donnie, made the right choice. How many believes that? I'm telling you, I want to make the right choice, don't you? For John 3, 16 said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. How many knows I want everlasting life? Can I tell you in this life, Amen. We ain't got everlasting life. Amen. Sadness comes. Amen. Death comes. Sickness comes. But I want to tell you one day, Jesus is going to come. Amen. And the dead's going to rise and them that's live and remains going to be caught up to ever be with the Lord. I'm telling you, there's a point in time. He just stripped me. One day I'm going to have to leave here. One day you're going to have to leave here. And I told my girls, I said, girls, there's one thing about it. I want to know that you're ready. And you know what I like to tell everyone here, grandchildren, oh, I don't know your condition with you and God. Amen. But there's a point in time coming. If you ain't ready, that would be the best day today. You may say, my heart's sad. I've lost daddy. Yeah, it is. Can I tell you? When I lost daddy, that's what let me know and realize, amen, I was on the wrong road. How many knows that I know if I was going to see daddy and I was going to see mama, which that mama hadn't left yet, if I was going to see daddy, I had to change. Yeah. How many believes we got to make a change? Yeah. We've got to pray and ask God to come in. You may say, I can't, I can't get loose from it. I'm telling you, if you'll pray, no matter what the enemy's got you bound in, Jesus can set you free. Amen. I thought I'd been to service. Amen. All with uh, all the all the Roberts children, all that. But I want to tell you, I want to tell you, Amen. You can escape death. Amen. See, it's pointed on the man that died. And after this, 
Amen. The judgment. I'm telling you, death is easy. But if you go to judgment and you ain't born again, you ain't right. How many knows there's another death you've got to face? The wages of sin is death. Yes. But how many know Jesus wants to give you life? Job said it pretty, pretty much in Job. Job said in the 14th chapter, Man that is born of a woman is few days and full of trouble. Amen. How many knows everybody's seen trouble? Amen. Everybody that's got children. Amen. How many knows you in your life growing up there's trouble? Amen. But here come forth like a flower and cut down and he plea also as a shadow continue not. And this I open my eyes upon such and he brings me into judgment with the who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean thing, not one. Ain't you glad Jesus can clean you up by the blood of Jesus? Hey, ain't you glad that he can give you a brand new heart and a brand new mind? I want to tell you, living for Jesus, if there wasn't no heaven to gain, living for Jesus, I found, is the best life to live. But there's a heaven to gain and there's a hell to miss. And you know what? That's what I'm trying to strive for. Amen. Like Brother Donnie, I don't know what air. I don't know, amen, what minute I'm going to have to leave here. But I know I want my last, I want my last picture that God took. Somebody can say, I heard him preach. I heard him sing. I seen him shout. I want to tell you, amen, Renee, I seen your daddy speaking that heavenly language. Raising them hands up, praying for all the people that in the prayer line. He, you know, used to, he would kind of be backwards. But he, he, he'd come right up for it and he'd help us pray. And I'm glad. And little Jay, and I want us to remember him. And little Jay, he loved that boy. He loved him. He'd come. And I, I, last time I talked to him, amen, he, he'd say, I got to go take this boy and get him something to eat. Amen. That was like Papa, wasn't it? Or everybody called him Grandpa. But I'm telling you, amen, there's a point in time coming. Job was telling us about it. Amen. Turn from him. He may rest till he accomplish the harlot of his day. For there is hope of a tree. Can I tell you, Donnie left you hope, children. He's left you hope there's a better place to go to. He's left that hope. If it be cut down, shall it sprout again. And that under branches, therefore, cease. Though through the root of wackness, old in earth and stalks, therefore die in the ground. Yet though in the scent of water it will bud and bring forth buds like a plant. But a man that died and wasted away, yet a man give up the ghost, where is he? And the waters that fell from the sea and the floods decay and dry up. So a man that lies down and rise not till heavens be no more. They shall wake nor are they rise out of their, their sleep. For thou shalt hide me in the grave. Thou wouldest keep me in the secret until the rout is past. Thou wouldest appoint me a time, a set time. Remember me. Listen to what Job said here. If a man die, shall he live again? He said, all the days of my life, I waited for my appointed time for my change to come. I'm telling you, when death comes, how many knows it brings a change? It brings soreness. How many believes it brings sorrow in your heart? I'm telling you, death is just like a storm. Death is just like a tornado. No matter where it strikes, it brings sorrow. No matter how old you are or how young you are, you don't want to give nobody up. How many knows death is something that brings heartaches and pain? But I'm telling you the only thing that I can recommend that will help you with pain and heartache when you feel like nobody loves you, nobody cares. I want you to know Jesus hung between heaven and earth. And he said, Father, forgive them. For they know not what they do. How many know Jesus loves you when you don't feel like nobody around her and they loves you? He does. John 3, 6, 17 said, For God sent His Son into the world, not to condemn the world, but the world through Him might be saved. I'm glad to be Donnie's pastor. I'm glad that he was faithful. I'm glad that he brought that little grandson and y'all bring him, bring him. Yes. Amen. Bring him every chance you can. All you grandchildren, a big family of you. You got a good mama that's going on, I think about three years ago, maybe or longer, may miss it. Now dad's gone. But tomorrow it could be you. What would they be? What funeral would be preached to you? Donnie preached his funeral. 
He lived his last picture with hope that there's a better place to go. We're going to miss him. Cartersville ain't going to be the same. Everyone that we lose, we, we miss them. But I'm glad today, amen, to stand and be able to tell you, I believe Donnie was a good man. I believe he was a good man. And you know what? I'll never forget, just to, I say this, fixing the close. If death comes to you, the Lord blessed Donnie to see three scores and ten. Bible gives us that. Three scores and ten, which is 70. He was 72. But what if death comes from me and you next week? How would it be with you? How would it be with you and God? Yeah. There's one thing about it. You'll have people come to her funeral, but I want Jesus on my side when I lay down, don't you? I want you to have Jesus. I want you. And you know what? If Donnie would let me say anything, you know what he'd tell me? He said, tell my children, tell my family, get a hold of Jesus. Get a hold of Jesus. You know, possessions can come and go, but your soul is going to spend eternity somewhere. Right. So today, I'd like to tell you, there's appointment. There's a lot of appointments we make in this life that we don't follow through. We can uh, preach to you a few more minutes. You may make a doctor's appointment and some reason you just won't follow through. You may call and reschedule. You may have a lawyer's appointment and, and some come up and you may reschedule. Can I tell you, when death knocks at your door, you can't reschedule it. The Bible said, away a tree fall, so shall it be. Today, if we die in sin, where He is, we can't come. But Jesus has got on stretched arms. Said, come unto me, all you that's heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Can I tell you, I was 21 years old. And when the Lord took my daddy, I've been here, Renee, where all you all are. And I heartbreak, and I didn't think, Lord, nothing could comfort it. But I opened my heart to God. And I said, God, would you come into my heart? Comfort me through this sorrow. And you know what Jesus did? He come into my life. I started praying. Didn't think about being a pastor. Didn't think about being a preacher. All I wanted to do. My daddy's gone. And this is the words he told me. He said, son, you need to quit what you're doing. And pray and go to church. And when my daddy died, I thought of them words. If I'm going to see my daddy, I had to quit what I was doing. And I had to pray. Yeah. And I tell you, I've been a praying ever since. You say, well, you're a pastor, you're a preacher. How many knows? I don't care how big a Christian you are or how little you are. Yeah. Amen. You've got to keep that uh, prayer line open to him. If you don't keep that prayer line over to him, how many knows? The enemy will put thoughts in you. But if you keep that prayer line, and one day we'll be like Donnie. That angel, God will send that angel. And we'll go. And I want to go. You bow your heads. Precious Father, as we've come and done our best that we could do, we ask you to help Jay. Help him, Lord. I know his heart's broken. Renee, Michael. Lord Jason and all the other grandkids, Lord, I might not remember them all. But God, I know what sorrow is. I know what heartache is. But God, most of all, I think we've got a good brother. But Lord, it's going to be on the other side of waiting for somebody else's change to come. And Lord, I ask you, Lord, let something be said today that would touch their heart. And want them to go to church and pray and meet mom and dad again. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Uh, Donnie's going to play for you. Can you play for Donnie? Don't let me cross over over God's mercy line. Don't let your sweet spirit speak the last time. Amen. I prayed and you've conquered. 
these storms in my mind. Don't let me cross over, over God's mercy line. Lord, I'm living in darkness, and I'm walking in shame. I've tried to repent, but Lord, I can't seem to change. Oh, Satan, he's using my body and my mind. Don't let me cross over, over God's mercy line. Lord, I know there's a deadline that I'll have to face. I know that I'm bringing my Lord to disgrace. But if I could just break through these shackles of sin, I promise to never serve Satan again. Don't let me cross over, over God's mercy line. Don't 